What's up, YouTube? So I just got in my bar and mirrors. Gonna install these guys and then go out for a ride. Oops. So I'm gonna figure out how to put these on. Put them on my Gladius to replace these ugly ass antennas. So yeah, let me get, I brought out all my tools. Don't know what I'll need, but I'm assuming I'm gonna need Allen wrenches and screws, and I got a multi-tool just in case. So let me get everything set up, and then, uh, so it looks like first, I'm just gonna have to remove my stock mirrors here. That way it doesn't get in the way when I'm working over here. So basically the stock mirror just twists around. I'll remove this part in a little bit. And I'm just gonna do one mirror at a time. So basically you just have to unscrew this here. So this is how the mirror goes. So it's gonna screw in here, insert, well this is the wrong one. But. And then as I tighten it up, it's gonna expand and it should hold it snugly in there. But I think I'm gonna want one it facing up. So. Should probably tighten this up a little. So yeah, and then I just have to tighten that up. So the first one's all tightened up. It looks like that wouldn't be going anywhere. Then I would just have to adjust wherever I want the mirror to be. Let's tighten that up a little. So that should get this ball joint tight so these are the folding mirrors bought these off Amazon uh, around 20 bucks maybe a little less they they're the folding mirrors so they do copy the design from the CRG mirrors which are I think like 185 each or 85 yeah 185 each so this is a pretty good investment and this is a little loose tighten that up but yeah, so far I like the clean look that it's gonna give the bike. Wrong size. So that's gonna be the same thing on the other side. Basically, just unscrew. I'll tighten that up later. Whatever. Unscrew the mirror. This. Not gonna need that anymore. And same thing goes with the next one. Take the whole thing out. I wish I could have kept my bar ends in somehow, but I don't think that would have been possible. Yeah. So same thing here. See if there's enough tension already now. 
tighten this up a little more. out of the way see that's really loose hopefully they don't get loosened up while on the freeway or something or high speeds because that might be good So I'm just going to finish tightening these up, but this is the look of the barn mirrors. I do have to remove these right now. So finally I got them adjusted and um, put them to where I think they would work well. I wasn't able to remove the original screws, they're a little tight in there, so I might just loosen them up later. But yeah, so this is the look on the bike. a nice cleaner look and they actually don't stick out as far as my well almost as much as the stock probably just a little bit more like two inches or so so that shouldn't give me a problem with lane splitting but we'll find out how do I have spider webs already so what's up YouTube? Um, yeah, so this is going to be the, the test ride of my new bar and mirrors. So cleaner look, no more antenna look at the top here. So I'm going to go out for a ride, see if, uh, how different it is and what I think about them. Like I said, these are some that I got off Amazon for 20 bucks. I'll put the link in the description. But, huh, I can see clearly behind me. But I want to test out how they hold up with vibrations. And if I have time, I'm going to go down to the freeway. Uh, let's check out the lane splitting here. Huh, so they are a little wider than what I'm used to. But it's not by much. Uh, I can definitely see a lot more. And I don't have to glance down too much because they're not that far lower than how my stock mirrors were. So that shouldn't be a problem. I know a lot of people say that with bar and mirrors you have to really move your head down. But that's not the case with mine because I think my mirrors were like around here and these are just slightly lower all I have to do is look down it does give me a really great view of the back and so I can see more behind me You'll always have to do your head checks, of course. So far, no vibrations from the mirrors. Yeah, seems to be fine in terms of vibration. Like I said, lane splitting I'm about an inch wider than I was. So I'm doing roughly around 60. Um, and so far, doesn't move, doesn't vibrate. Seems to be fine. But there are no cars behind me, so I can't see if I have any blind spots or anything. I would definitely recommend bar and mirrors if that's what you're looking for a cleaner look. 
but it does take some getting used to, I heard. Just because the mirrors are convex a little. Doesn't seem too bad. So I'm gonna hop onto the freeway and just check if they vibrate or move at even higher speeds. Uh, let's test the lane splitting again. I shouldn't be that much wider than I was before. Nope. It's about, about an inch. So now I'll just make sure I don't clip the mirrors. Um, they do fold in, which I do like about these. I haven't tested the little ball joint. But in case you do need to lane split, I can just fold it in. Let's see if that works. Oh, it does. So could I would just fold in. But like I said, these are not um, the CRG mirrors that I think cost. I think the lane splitters is what they're called. About 185 each. So I heard that these just, um, if you do that a lot, eventually it'll wear down. So that's not going to be good. But so far that eh, doesn't seem to be a problem. Actually, that Jeep looks really far away, but it's actually, yeah, it's, it's, he's actually really close. So yeah, if you do get bar and mirrors that are convex, make sure you always do your head checks. Objects in the mirror are way closer than they appear. Damn it! That was a fail. I was gonna get onto the freeway to go at speeds, but gotta love that traffic, and I'm not gonna do. It. I'm not gonna test out these going 45 through that. Okay, for another day I'll test it out. But as you did see, it was going 60, and not even slight movement from them. Or vibration. So I'll test that out another day. That sucks. So I decided to get off the freeway because I wasn't going to be able to reach high speeds on that. But yeah, I'm loving so far. I'm loving the mirrors. I can see clearly behind me, and then I saw, I noticed that as soon as the car disappears from my mirror, as soon as he disappears, I can see him on my peripheral vision without even doing a head check. Not that I would never not do my lifesaver, but it's cool because if I don't see him there and I don't see him on, the, on my peripheral, I can assume that there's no car there. And then I decided to do a quick check to confirm. So let's see real quick. So, that nice little burst there. No vibration, no movement. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that these mirrors will be able to stay up. Oh. They'd be able to stay up pretty well in high speeds. That one was... Yeah, so that's my quick review of the install and little ride with my mirrors. If you're looking for bar and mirrors, don't hesitate to get them. I mean, it is a little different, but depending on where you place them, you don't have to do a different... Um, you don't have to move your head as much, like mine. Like I said, my mirrors were like here, now they're here. These don't stick out that much further. Uh, I believe it's about an inch more. An inch more than they used to. I had my bar and stick out to like here. And my mirror would stick out to like here. 
Yeah, so it's pretty nice, gives you more view, but definitely objects are a lot closer than they do up here. Like the car behind me, it's, it's pretty much like five feet away, but it looks like he's pretty far. Yeah, overall, it's all great. I haven't been able to remove these, uh, but I'll worry about that later. They were stuck in there. I almost stripped it, and I did have the right wrench. But whatever, had some minor. But yeah, if you have any questions, um, just leave a comment. I'll post a link into the description on these. Cool, so thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to share, like, and subscribe if you already subscribed to my videos. Which I'm sure many of you are not because I only have 14 subscribers. Which I think is a pretty good start for me just barely starting up my channel. So I do want to thank my current subscribers for following me. Alright, ride safe everyone.